angry guy here, and men are letting a society that hates them crash and burn. Men are letting a society that hates them crash and burn. I've said this before and I'll say it again, nothing lasts forever. Let's check out this comment. It's also, so this is in response to a video, women destroyed society and now want men to come back and fix it. And I'm gonna be going through a bunch of these comments. This comment says, it's also sad or noble that many, many, many men will try to save society willingly or not, and they will suffer for that. And Earhead, who's become a staple on the channel, says a lot of those men who got old will be too old to pick the shovel up and even start to fix it. The young men aren't fixing it, so we're basically headed in a bad direction, and I don't care. And I want you, if you look at that very carefully, it's Earhead United States Marine Corps. You, I mean, guys, I want you to consider what's happening. A lot of these men who are strong, these are men who are stronger than you. Let's make this very clear. Most of you are not that strong. You are not as strong as a Marine. You are not as strong as a lot of these people. You're not as strong as a guy who knows the woods and who spent his life in the woods. You're not as strong as these people. And it's there's no shame in knowing your limitations. Most of these men are walking away from society. Most of these men are saying they would never serve. They would never serve in the military again. They would never go back to the military. They would never defend our society. They would not do these things. These exact same men are also telling their children, you're not joining the military. Okay, let me explain how this works. You have your son. I've, I've gone over this in another video. Your son comes to you. You're, you're a former Marine. Let me make this very clear. After many years of serving in the military, you, you get a certain kind of strength. It's, it's, I call it like a man strength. It is something that you acquire over a long period of time. So even though someone may, you know, a soldier, uh, you know, or maybe, you know, or a younger Marine might be, you know, they, they're younger than you. They are not stronger than you. It's, it's a type of it's something that comes with experience. Your body changes, it, it goes along with your mind, it's muscle memory. And as a result of this, there are people who will say, I'm wrong, I am not wrong. I am 100% not wrong. You will have a guy who's 22 years old, straight out of the Marines, and you'll have a guy who is 42 years old. And the guy who is 42 years old, you know, he was serving, he, let's say he served for 20 years. The guy who is 22 years old, will get, he'll basically be thrown off his feet by the guy who is 42 years old. There is a certain type of strength that you gain over time that only comes with time. And a younger man cannot take you. There's a saying, there's a saying that be very careful of old men who are still basically standing in, in fields where men pass away young. And I, I butchered the phrase, but many of you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, for example, <laughs> you go to the military, you see a guy who's in his 60s and he's still training the cadets. And the cadets think that, oh, this guy, look at this old man. I'm going to show myself. I'm going to show him up. Bad idea. What you should be asking and wondering is how is this, this old man still able to keep up with the cadets, train the cadets, and stay ahead of them? How has he survived this long in a place, in a field where men pass away young? Be careful of the old man. There's a saying, be careful of the old man. So when these men have sons and their sons say, yeah, dad, I'm going to go and join the Marines. All dad says is, okay, oh, you're a big man. Okay, well, fine. You know, because like first they tell him, listen, the answer is no, you're not joining the Marines. Okay. Son says, yeah, I am, and you can't do anything about it. Dad goes, okay, well, how about this? Dad's an old man now. Look at me. Dad's an old man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dad's an old man, okay? Dad's an old man. So how about this? You just go one round with old dad, okay? You just go one round with old dad. And if you can put, if you can just land one hit on me, just one hit, then... uh." You can join the Marines. Are you kidding that? 
listen to me. You don't have to. You don't have to slug me hard, but you just have to be able to just put one, just one hit on me. So, so the kid goes, okay, yeah, fine, old man, fine, all right. Are you ready, son? Yeah, boom, knocks him out cold, cold, just like that. Kid hits the ground, doesn't know what hits him, doesn't know what hit him. All right, just like that, just like that. When he wakes up, he's like, he doesn't even realize he was out. Okay. Doesn't even realize he was out. Has a pillow under his head. Dad's sitting next to him, you know, drinking a beer, and says, his "Kid says, what? What, what happened, Dad? Uh, what, I don't know what happened." And Dad says, "Well, listen, I'll tell you exactly what happened. You know, I put you on your butt. You know, you wanted to be a big man. I put you on your butt. You said you were going to join the Marines. I told you just get one hit on me, and uh, yeah, you know, that was that, and you went to sleep." And that's that's pretty much just how it ends up going. These men are not allowing, they're not going, they're not going back into the military. They're not allowing their children to go back into the military. They will not allow their children to serve. You have to think about it carefully. For a man, for a man, his children are everything. His children are absolutely everything. And there's, you know, it's hard because, for example, it's one thing if your children it's one thing if your children decide that they're going to defy you and, you know, they're going to, you know, and you're not going to speak to them and, you know, okay, they're going to go and do their own thing and whatever. Children, you know, young people can be rebellious, rebellious. They go out into the world and they make decisions for themselves and they have experiences. However, when it comes to something like joining the military, joining the Marines, you know, going, you know, joining the Navy, getting mixed up in this type of lifestyle, a lot of fathers who were poor previously previously served, they're gonna say no, because there's because there's their children go into this, especially for the way the country is right now. They know that their children go and get they get involved in this thing. There's no reconciliation later on. There's no okay, dad, we didn't talk for like five or ten years, but we're gonna make up. No, they go and they get messed up in this in this terrible terrible system. There's not. They may never see their children again. Their children may never make it out. Or when their children, or if their children do come out, you know, they're messed up. They're messed up. They come out with problems, physical, psychological. This is why the answer is, is absolutely no. Men are not going to return to a society that hates them. And they're not going to allow their sons to go and serve a society that hates them. This is the, this is the outright reality of it. And women... You know, I've told you before, these, these people, they don't like us. They love Chad. They love Tyrone. And, and, and basically, they're, you know, society has gone to hell, and all they're trying to do is use us. You know, I've talked about the fact that it's time to move. It's time to move on from the red pill. The red pill is just a stage. We have to take a realistic look at society and understand that this is a society that hates us. No matter what we do. The ultimately, the only men that women actually love are the Chads and the Tyrones. I said this before that Andrew, Tristan, the Tate guys, and you know Justin Wa Wa Wheeler, Waller. He said this before that he's that the only kinds of the men that women actually love are the are Chads and Tyrones. You know, these are the guys that they actually love. If you you know you, just to get just to get your typical woman that goes out there. And she has she has this high body she has a high body count. She's been running around roaming around with Chad and Tyrone. And then you have to go build your value, get fit, and imp improve your looks. So now you're fit, you're handsome, you're wealthy, you have influence, you know, and you've done all of this work just so that you can get some someone that has a high body count and that Chad and Tyrone got for free. Okay. And this person is going to make you wait months just to possibly get access to something that they got for free right away. And they don't love you. They don't actually care for you. They don't actually want you. In fact, they absolutely resent the fact that they need you. That's, that's the reality. It's a painful reality for a lot of men to swallow. It's a painful reality for a lot of men to take in, to realize they don't like you, bro. The guys, these guys who have lots of money, lots of influence, all of these things, these are the plan B guys. Or at best, they're plan A guys. 
Okay, I've said this before. Guys, Tom Brady. Tom Brady is extremely handsome. Tom Brady is extremely wealthy. Tom Brady has a lot of influence. What did his wife do? She divorced him, went back to the streets, and she has basically been in a relationship with every every color under the rainbow since. Okay? She left one of the richest, most influential, one of the better looking guys on the planet. Okay, he's still young. He's in his 40s. So he's one of the top athletes in the world. He was not one of the top athletes in the world. He, at this exact moment, is still one of the top athletes in this world. In the world, what did Tom Brady do recently? He actually made a video of himself running faster, performing faster at his age than than he did at 22 years old. He is. This is what I talk about when I mentioned the Marines a, mo a moment ago, where a 42-year-old will outperform a 22-year-old. It's crazy. Muscle memory, experience, a lot of these things. Tom Brady is physically stronger and faster at his age, in, the, in his 40s, than he was over 20 years ago. And that's a warning. That's a warning, a reminder about old men. But look at what his wife did. Tom Brady is worth over $100 million. Tom Brady is... is is tall. Tom Brady is handsome. Tom Brady has lots of influence. What did his wife do? She left him and immediately upon leaving him, she was in Brazil. She was in other countries with other men. Where is she right now? She is still traveling around the world with other men, even like getting into a relationship with her bodyguard, her bodyguard, her yoga instructor, her tennis instructor, like this, this, this is this is the reality. This is the reality. And then here's the crazy thing: after she goes on this world tour, after she, because guys, you know, she, I told you, she was never yours. It was just your return. It was just your turn, and it is from the streets that they came, and it is to the streets that they shall return. If we look at the comment on the screen, this guy says red peelers are weak grifters advocating self-improvement so you can chase after and get the same 304s and town bikes everybody else has already ridden. ridden. That's so, just stupid. Self-improve if you must, but do so only for yourself. As for personal responsibility, that's just propaganda dumped on bettas while everyone else cuts loose. Let me make this very clear to you. This guy absolutely sounds like a part of the Inkel community. That's this that sounds very much like the Inkel community because there's a lot of benefits that come from red pill. The problem is that red pill is just a stage before you graduate. This is why we say why I say that we need to move to the gray pill. Gray pill is basically black pill 2.0. Okay. Instead of taking this, because a lot of I've mentioned this, the biggest problem with the black pill is that a lot of the Inkels. They go to the they go to the black pill before they even go red pill, so they go to the black pill and they take a nihilistic view on life and their their entire focus on life is that oh well I want to get a woman I want to have a relationship and if I don't have a woman and I don't have a relationship then there's no purpose in my life there's no you know you start off with the red pill and you start focusing on self improvement you start focusing on working on your health your well being on yourself taking personal responsibility and accountability because that you're going to have to. So that's how you gain control of your life. All of these women who claim to be victims, they will forever be just that because they, they do not take responsibility or accountability. And it's going to catch up to them. As you can see here, this guy is attacking self-improvement. He's attack, all right? You don't, guys, notice he immediately says, oh, you're just improving because you're trying to get the same, you know, the same girl that everyone else got. And that's the problem. Okay, this is a problem. You know, as a red pillar, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're improving for yourself. You're not focusing on women. You're focusing on yourself. And this is the reason why you need to graduate to the black pill after you've taken the red pill. Because you take the red pill, you start working on improving yourself, and you start focusing on yourself. And then you realize that you come to the black pill and you understand that no matter what you do, you will never be a Chad. You will never be a Tyrone. You will not be the kind of man that a woman loves. And you don't want to be a Tyrone. Let's be very, very clear. 
You don't want to be anything like Tyrone. You don't want to be like little Poncho. These are not marriageable men. These are men who have destroyed society. When I've put out videos showing you Pookie, Ray Ray, these men attacking the passport kings because now that the passport kings are walking away from Western society, these are the men with the money and the value. They're not going to be step up dads anymore. They're not going to take accountability for little Poncho anymore. You know, they're not going to take care of Poncho's kids anymore, Pookie's kids, Ray Ray's kids, Tyrone's kids. They're not doing it anymore. Chad and Brad, they're not taking care of these men's kids anymore. They're walking away. So now these men are facing accountability. So, you know, the state can't come after cannot come after these passport kings anymore because these men are leaving. So now they're going to now they're going to come after these the, the men that women love and they're going and it's going to be rough. It's going to be absolutely rough because a lot of these guys have been living living want, le these carefree lives. Here's what happens when they come when they come after you. Your driver's license, they will take away your driver's license from you. You will no longer be able to You'll no longer be able to drive. These guys love to drive and cruise. Goodbye, driver's license. That's a privilege. Oh, passport? Forget about that. While they cannot take your passport away from you, they can prevent you from renewing your passport. Oh, wow. Goodbye, passport. Okay? So for these guys, the idea of fleeing the country is now gone. Okay? Except for little Poncho. Because, you know, just like he came across the border, he'll go right back across until... You know, until uh, until the uh, until the problem lets you know until the heat is off. And you know, MK Fitness he made a, he pointed out that for Little Poncho, another thing is he doesn't even have to cross the border. He just has to go to a local flea market, and they'll provide him with a new set of documents because you know that's how he rolled when he first came in, and that's how he'll roll again. He'll just go right down to a local flea market. <laughs> he'll get a new ID. And a new social security number, and he's back, and, and he's back in uh, <laughs> and he's he's back in business, and it's not like they can really do anything because the old social security number and the old <laughs> and the old ID were just like were were the same thing. They were just made out of thin air. So he just gets rid of one identity and and assumes a new identity, just like that. This is the rea this is the reality of it, guys. This is the absolute and utter reality of it. And then you, so it's no wonder men are saying, you know what? This is crap. You know, this one guy, Jonathan, says, not going to lie, I used to be red pilled. I used to believe that it worked, that if I work hard enough, I'd get the woman that will love me and provide for me. And that's one of the big problems with red pill. Work with me, even. But the older I get, I see that heaven is my only goal now. I don't want to marry any woman, overseas or not. I grind for myself and for the kingdom. For if a man don't work, he won't eat. And this is the important factor. Men don't need to give up, you know? Men do not, do not give up on yourself. The biggest problem is that a lot of guys have a shift in focus where, oh, I'm going to do all of these things. And by building myself and creating myself into the kind of man that women want, now I can get the one that I can attract the woman I want. This is completely incorrect. You're, you're only attract the women that you're attracting only want you for your utility still. So you're building yourself into a man that they can that they you know, that they that, that they're just going to say, OK, now you're enough of a utility for me to use you. These women don't want to cook for you. They don't want to clean for you. They don't like. They don't like you. The only men that they actually love are Ch are Chad and Tyrone. Okay, Chad, Brad, Tyrone, Ray, Ray, Pookie, Enrique, Miguel, Little Poncho. They love Little Poncho. Those are the men that they actually love. Those are the men that they actually love. These are the men that they would give anything for. You know, they they take they'll take your money and then go and spend it on these men. That's just, that's a sad reality of it. And it's not going to change anything. This is the reason why these women say, don't bring it. Like, you know, a real man doesn't ask what a woman brings to the relationship because she is the table. But the guys that she loves, she's out there spending your money on them. She'll take your money and then go and buy them a PlayStation 5 with it. Okay? She'll buy them a PlayStation 5. She'll give that money to them. She'll, she'll this is what she'll do. She will literally laugh about that. You'll go and you know give her a thousand dollars and say, "Here, this is for you." She'll take that money and go spend it on them, and she'll laugh about it because you are nothing more than you're. You're disposable to her, and guess what? She will not be intimate with you. You'll basically wait months and months, and she will not be intimate with you. She'll start talking, saying that she's traditional. 
She'll tell you that she's a, she'll even, t some of these women will go as far as telling you that, you know, she's never been, that she's never been intimate with a guy, physically intimate with a guy, and she's waiting until marriage. She will tell you this to your face, and then right after telling you this, go and get her back blown out. I know for a fact, because I have lived through that. Okay, I've had women, I've had a woman lie to my face, lie to my face, and then a Tyrone rolled up on her, and she basically admitted it to him. She basically admitted it outright to him that she's no virgin. Guys. They'll do you dirty. If you're stupid, if you're dumb enough to believe them, if you're dumb enough to believe them, then they'll, that's that's what they'll do. I've always said, assume that everything that they say is a lie and then try to look for the truth and the lies. Because if you assume that everything is true and then try to look for the truth, for the lies and the truth, then you've already been deceived. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to, to the channel if you already haven't liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Men are letting a society that hates them crash and burn. What do you guys think about this? I want to hear your thoughts. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.